Look, in this program, I am going to explain 8051C program to generate sine waveform using digital to analog converter interface with 8051. Uh, for this, I already explained for sine wave how to generate. Okay, so we are using uh, DAC uh, 0808, which is analog to, digital to analog converter. It is a 8 bit uh, DAC and it uses R to 2 R type uh, conversion and uh, it is 8 bit so there are uh, 2 power n 2 power n means 256 uh, discrete analog voltage uh, you are going to get for all the digital inputs uh, d0 to d7 if all are 0 0 0 you are going to get i out as 0 and if for all the digital input 1 1 1 1 uh, you are going to get uh, maximum output of 10 volts it is uh, you are going to get from 0 to 10 volts so how to generate uh, sine wave using a uh, DAC okay so for generation of square wave we have, we have only two levels either 0 or maximum so we sent a 0 0 as digital input we call delay after that we sent uh, FF call delay so two values is sufficient one digital value is zero all the digital inputs are 0 next level is all the digital inputs are 1 so but for sinusoidal waveform uh, we have to send all the waveforms values okay sinusoidal wave, all of you seen how it looks like so we have to send okay uh, for every degree you can send the digital input corresponding uh, analog output will come and uh, in the plot you are going to get so now i'll explain how to write uh, values for example here if you take v out is equal to 5 volts plus 5 sin theta when sin theta is 90 okay you are going to get 5 plus 5 maximum 10 volts you are going to get when sin theta is 0 5 into 0 is 0 so you are going to get 0 okay and when sin theta is uh, minus uh, uh, 270 you are going to get minus 1 so you are going to get 0 value okay so this is a formula v out is equal to 5 volts plus 5 sin theta so uh, we can sample that waveforms for every uh, 10 degrees or 20 degrees or 30 degrees okay so you have to get the here example is shown for every 30 degree 0 30 degree 60 degree 90 degree 120 degree sin theta of sin 30 is the half sin 60 is this sin 90 is 1 and v out is 5 plus 5 sin 0 it is 5 only and the values you have to send to the DAC is 128 0 means 128 and uh, 360 means 128, uh, 270 means 0, 90 means 90 means maximum. No, sin 90 is sin 90 is uh, 1. Okay, 5 plus 5 is 10. So maximum output is FF. So that is uh, you should send digital inputs as FF. That means 255 values. So what value you have to send for digital? We have one formula here. I'll show the formula to calculate that. So for before that, I will show the program. Uh, you stop any previously running program. Stop debug. So I'm deleting square wave. Add new item and select C file. Type sign dot C. Otherwise, uh, you can have this. I am adding existing file. So uh, you are using first time now. You have to select uh, this one. Exist, uh, new file you have to select. Okay. C file and you have to type this program. Include register 51.h int main int j. Okay. Int i or j anything you can use. Okay. If you are familiar with i you can use. IJ anything is okay. Yeah, I can change this one to sign value. You can give any label here. Instead of C, I given sign values or table, something you can give where that uh, array will have. 
uh, values, sign values, 128, 120, 150, like that. So how we got that uh, uh, values, how to remember that values? You have to take the calculator. I will tell you how to do. So the formula is 5 plus 5 sin theta. Okay, 5 plus 5 sin theta, where theta is 0 means uh, uh, sin 0 is 0. So answer is 5. So, but uh, uh, out of total value is what? 255. Okay, 0 to 255 means totally 256. Okay, 0 to 255, total value is 256. So, middle value is actually 128. So, 128 is the middle value. Uh, so, 128 plus 128 uh, sign of that value we have to take. Okay. 128 is the middle value. When sin theta is maximum, okay, that is 90, you are going to get that value as uh, 1. Sin 90 is 1. So, 5 plus 5 is 10. So, 10 value is for 256. Okay. So, 10 value is for 256. 256 divided by 10 values, uh, maximum uh, voltage is 10. So, you have to divide by 25.6. See, 5 plus 5 sin theta, I will show the formula. Mm, where is that formula? Yeah, here only I will just will show these. This is 5 plus 5 sin theta. Okay. 5 plus 5 sin theta. Uh, here I will show how to calculate the values. Okay. So this is the value now. Uh, we have taken values from um, one minute. I am searching that. Okay, let me check. Uh, I will do th this one only. So, how to remember these values? Okay, so the formula is 5 plus uh, 5 sin theta. So, you have to get 128 plus 128 sin 0. Okay, sin of 0 degree. So, what is the value? This is 128. 128 is come. This is for 0 degree. Next, you change this one for 10 degree. So for 10 degree, how much? It is 150. So this is the value. Next, 172. You click this button, change this to 20. So 170.7. Uh, so you can round it to so 172. Similarly, next value is change it instead of 20, you change it to 30. 192. So, like that, uh, you have to calculate for 10 degree, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, uh, up to uh, a 360 degree, you have to calculate. So, that is how you are sampling. You can do, uh, I will show the year in the Excel sheet also, you can do for 0, 10 degree, 20 degree, 30 degree, 40 degree, 50 degree, 60, 70, 80 degree, you have to calculate. Those values are coming here. So, I already entered here. So, I will, re, I, will re, I will tell you once again, the formula is 128 plus 128 sin 30. If you want full details, uh, how to find the sign values, so you can also refer one of my video. You search uh, in my play uh, video files, you search how to find sign values in from Excel sheet. So, here also you can check. Today, I will explain how to uh, check the video okay so there actually i did for the hdl program so same thing apply for this also so this is the formula you have to use in the excel sheet and you can calculate for every five degrees also okay you refer my video how to find sign values i already explained in the video so this is for every five values. Similarly, for uh, 128 values also. Plus for 36. Uh, th radians uh, of 
In the Excel sheet, you have to type 120 yes, is, is equal column. to 128 plus 128 column 5. So close bracket for this. Yeah, you can refer this for H5 okay. on bracket. So I'm going to the program now once again. Okay. Uh, now let us go to this program. Okay. So first, uh, what you have to do is int i and uh, all the values for uh, 10 degrees. I am using only for every, I am sampling for 10, 10 degrees. So 36 values, 360 divided by 10 is 36. So 36 times for 10 degree, how much? 20, uh, 20 degree, 30 degree, 40 degree, 50 degree, 60 degree. I am calculating and uh, I have to uh, type the values here. Okay. Uh, sometimes in the exam, they may give this values table. Okay. Otherwise, you should know how to write. So after that, while 1 for i is equal to 0, i less than 36, i plus plus, and we have to send port 1 that values. Okay. Same values. So this is from lookup table. From lookup table, first we are sending uh, uh, the values for, we are values for. Uh, uh, digital input that's 128 means 100000 okay exactly ff means uh, all 8 bits are 111 128 means uh, 1 followed by 7 zeros similarly 150 you have to convert it into digital okay binary that value will be sent 172 converted into binary that value will be sent so all the values we are sending to port 1 so dac will convert that digital value to analog value and we are going to plot it first i will show how to show it in the simulation after that, we can also show it in the uh, kit the same procedure. So we can show the output in simulation. First, I'm checking uh, the year J is and I find similar. So this also I have to change it to high only because I changed it everywhere uh, I only. So I can change this to I. Uh, now you can see zero errors, zero warnings. Okay, now uh, in, uh, how to show the, the simulation. Click on debug. Okay. Then go to logical analyzer setup. Okay. Delete previous one. And now, which port I am using here? Port 1. P1 is now capital P1. So you have to type capital P and 1. And now, don't go for uh, here. This is analog to digital. Uh, digital to analog. Now, output is analog only. So output should be analog only. And this output, uh, if you want, you can change the color. Otherwise, let it be red only or green only, anything. So I'm taking uh, dark uh, blue. Okay. Close it. Now I'm clicking run button. See, it is coming like this. So this is actually not uh, time adjusted. You have to adjust. Uh, you can click on zoom here. Okay. You can click on zoom here. Sometimes, uh, see here, you have to click on zoom here like this. Zoom on. Suppose if it is not visible, what you can do is you can you have to increase the see this uh, logic analyzer window. Sometimes it is not uh, visible, it will be like this. So you can adjust a bit of the this table. See, sometimes it is not visible waveforms. So you can drag this. Okay. And you can click zoom in. See, you can observe here. This is the sign value for zero degree. Uh, this is actually 128 is this. You can see observe here 128 is coming here. Next value is 150. You can observe the along with the cursor, some marker is there now. You can see 172, 192, 210, 226, 239, and maximum is 255. Again, down you can see. Okay, here it is 47, 31, 9, 0. 0 means minus, uh, 0 means you are going to get negative peak. Okay. That is actually uh, when the sign value is uh, uh, 270, there is minus 1. 5 minus 5 plus 5 sin theta. No? Sin theta, uh, if you get uh, my sin theta value is minus 1. So minus 1 into 5 plus 5. Plus 5 and minus 5, it will result 0. Okay. So for all the values. So this is called as resolution, one step angle. 
okay if you sample for every 1 1 degree the waveform will look exactly like sine wave we have divided uh, waveform into 10 10 degrees so that's why you are getting uh, if you zoom uh, you are going to get uh, mm, like this staircase waveform for every 1 1 degree if you get values and uh, store you are going to get pure sinusoidal waveform or oh, that one more program is there i will show you this is actually best for uh, mm, uh, simulation and as well as for kit you have to use this program and one more program is there only for simulation uh, where uh, you can plot for every one one degree i will show you that value also so this is the simulation output and uh, in the kit again you have to uh, select options okay output click uh, uh, x file and uh, generate once again compile x file will be generated after that using a uh, flash tool or if you are using a uh, latest kit we can uh, program using uh, uh, flash okay uh, otherwise uh, in our college kit we are using old isp program uh, using that if you download and uh, if you connect uh, kit you are going to get the sinusoidal output and simulation output already shown using logic analyzer you can also show the output okay one more i will show you here simulation sine waveform i uh, will stop this one more using formula i will do this is using lookup table now i have one more using formula so here for i is equal to 0 i less than 360 i plus plus port 0 is given with 128 plus 128 sine of okay for uh, 180 degree pi radian so for i how much you have to calculate so int of 128 plus 128 star i 3.14 divided by 180 and uh, each and this is a delay because without this also it will work but for hardware i think you have to give some delay uh, you can give some small amount of delay okay so now i will show the simulation output now it will plot for every one one degree 360 degrees for every one one degree automatically it will plot the values start debug so we are using port zero no uh, here which port is selected port one so we have to go to setup once again delete previous one give port zero and click here once again click on port zero it is green cloud put green will come uh, now click on run button so now you can see preface now you are getting like this now don't worry you click on all okay so this will plot for see this will plot for every one one degree it will plot every one one degree it will plot so this waveform is better than that because in the previous every 10 for every 10 degrees it is uh, sampled now it is every one one degree we are sending uh, digital input and it is plotting the output okay if you want to measure the frequency of this click on this peak to peak so peak to peak you can see how much it is 3 point something is there 3.32 seconds is there Okay. If I have to find out total time period and you have to take reciprocal, it will give you frequency. And in the kit also, same how we got uh, for uh, square wave, same connection. Okay, you refer that uh, video. Okay, uh, previous video, and you will get the same sinusoidal output. Thank you.